Welcome back to Main Street TV. Today on our mission to find the greatest sneaker closets in the country, we are all the way up north in Ludhiana in Punjab. Here to meet with someone who's been on the channel before. We're here to meet Akshay Arora and take a look at his brand new sneaker room. It used to be a little closet. Today it's a room and it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Good Thank you for having us. Welcome Can back. we come in? Yeah, sure. Let's get into it. Hey, feel I'm in a mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picks a perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. My dude, what's up? Influencer, chef, entrepreneur, DJ. Enough about me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? <laughs> It's so nice to be here after, you know, the last couple, I think it was maybe two years ago. It's been two years. It's been two years since yeah. we did the last version of your closet. And uh, that was also incredible. But my God, what this, sort this, of made, what this prompted this? I think it, it's, it's, it has a lot to do with uh, you guys coming two years ago. <laughs> 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 but at the same time, it's just uh, when you talk about the chef, entrepreneur, DJ, it's all uh, requires passion and this is something you know it's part of my life it's like i'm passionate about shoes and it just went on from there it's beautiful thank you um what was that what was the first sneaker that sort of got it going for you do you remember that yeah but first sneaker this light smoke gray high is jordan one mm -hmm. uh, that was the first sneaker i got and that too on uh, sneakers website retail that definitely explains how there's 52 Jordans in your collection. Yeah, basically. That's more than one fourth of your whole collection. And most of them are highs. Yeah. C yeah, because that's the first shoe I got. Yeah. And uh, so that's definitely your favorite silhouette now. Yeah, Jordan 1. I mean, the most comfortable is Jordan 3, but the ones are just pretty. I think it's a beautiful shoe. Yeah. You got the you got a great deal on these, no? The OG Tavis size. Yeah, about three, used... three and a half lakhs now. I paid like 70. Steel, man. I think you'd easily get a couple of lakhs. But I, I got, like, I it was already used when I got it. But they don't look that bad. Yeah, but like, you see... Uh, I mean, I see the wear. The thing's like gone. Yeah, a little bit. But yeah. you'd still get like and a half, two lakhs on them. Yeah. This Is also I uh, bought used. I paid like 20, 28. SBBs, man. I think those came through us. I buy a lot of used pairs. Because I know I'm going to wear them. Which is awesome, man. Yeah. You don't have to defend it. <laughs> it's cool. We support it. Your LA to Chicago's are now... Uh, Chicago's. Are now Chicago's. I sent them to Chitanya. To, to Chicago them? Yeah. Shout out to Sea Dog. I shouldn't have switched them because now Chicago released Because now it. you got Chicago. Yes. <laughs> now you should send them to Chitanya to <laughs> LA <laughs> them back up, man. Paint them back. Paint them back up. Uh, what is this sort of split in like your preferences from like luxury to hype to... Is there a sort of chain of thought that goes into I want to buy a certain amount of luxury product? I was never into luxury till like last like six months. Uh, before that, it was just trying to you know buy sneakers at a good price. And uh, but once I bought one LV shoe, and then I realized the difference and why they charge so much, and the comfort and the quality and everything's top notch. And now you got. Something like 16 different designer sneakers, which you're saying you only recently got into. Yeah. What are your favorites here, man? What do you love? This row, right here. This row? Uh, LV, I guess you get four skate. of the same. The LV skate shoes. Oof. You can't go so wrong. So sexy. With this. So sexy. And you the beat detail, these, yeah? Uh, yeah, definitely. Have you worn these yet? The this is, one? I got them yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. How sweet, just for the video. Got a refund with the What are these? Uh, these are trainer maxi. So yeah, they feel larger than the. From yeah. the back, I thought they were the regular trainer. No, this is like the regular. These are the regular trainers. Yeah. And then this is the. Yeah. Sort of. They're like maxi. They're huge. They. Yeah, they key. look massive, man. And they look. You wear these a lot? Are they heavy? Uh, no, not really. Speaking of heavy shoes, tell me about <laughs> these uh, tires. I think uh, this is probably the most comfiest uh, Balenciaga. Oh, yeah? Because it it's doesn't. So good, uh, dude. Such it, a good it looks heavy, but it's not heavy. It's not heavy? Yeah. Interesting. But I'm still like collecting more Jordans than LVs. I mean, I'll, I always will. I don't think I'm going to. LVs are like, if I buy an LV shoe, like I'll probably wear it to the ground. Like I'll probably, you know, like keep wearing it, ruin the shoe. But with Jordans, they're like, they're like pretty shoes, you know? They're like, just like 
sit there and that's, make up a good collection. That's quite surprising. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people look at it like that. It's quite the opposite for most people. Red boot or the moon boots? I'm gonna drown the big red boot just because uh, it's not comfortable, and this moon boot is super comfortable. And I feel like uh, wearing these in snow or sand really helps you uh, move. Chicago Jordan One or CPFM Overgrown shoe. Even though this is a classic, I'm gonna drown because I love quirky shoes and this is probably the quirkiest of shoes I have. Yeah, these dono are very good and then dono shoes are very wearable. The quality is also similar. Tiffany has a little bit better leather. I'm gonna pick mm, the Travis just because of the laces. I love the laces on this. Drip and drown. इतने मुश्किल मुश्किल तुम देते हो ना दोनों पकड़ के इसमें से एक कैसे पिक करेंगे सो आई वेटेड ऑलमोस्ट वन ईयर टू गेट दिस शू एंड आई बॉल इट यूज बट एट द सेम टाइम इतना ज़्यादा हाई पेना इसके पीछे दैट आई वुड पिक दिस एंड ड्राउन द ट्रैवल आई वुड पिक दिस बिकॉज ऑफ हाउ लाउड दिस शू इज मतलब बिल्कुल मेरे स्टाइल का मजा आ गया जॉर्डन फोर एस बी पाइन ग्रीन और द आम अमानियर जॉर्डन थ्री ये बहुत ये वुमेन साइजिंग में ये बहुत मुश्किल से मिला था मेरे को मेरा साइज एंड दिस आई बॉट टू पेयर्स एज यू कैन सी जस्ट बिकॉज हाउ कंफर्टेबल एंड गुड लुकिंग द शू इज आई थिंक आई एम गोन ड्राउन द आम अमानियर थ्री Because uh, this shoe is a shoe that I've been wearing for almost a month, non-stop, regularly, and uh, I'm still not over it. Um, you were saying you managed to get a lot of stuff at um, retail and good prices. Where are you? For some reason, at? I have no idea. But I, I started. I literally, you know, I had a group of friends. Used to wake up at seven. Used to go to my restaurant at Blasi. We used to sit together with all laptops and you know try to cope online. And I got so many pairs. Uh, it's unbelievable. The fearless. I mean, a lot of shoes that people. The the Union Jordan Fours. Oh wow! Them, I got them in retail. Oh wow! The the fragment threes, retail. I mean, a lot of shoes. It's, it's crazy. You got a bunch of shoes at retail. Yeah, that's insane. But then you have four other pairs of mischief shoes. We don't see these in closets. What the fuck? <laughs> you have this mischief shoe, which just looks like a uh, okay shoe, mess, like a Air Force One on drugs. Uh, what else? You got these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I only got these to ruin them. That's it. I don't it, think you have to do much. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> so the thing is, if you want to actually naturally let them, you know, come off, then it's gonna take a couple years of so you wearing them. So this has something them. to reveal, is it? It has like three colors in them. Oh. And it's like a gob stopper, like you. Very cute. Yeah. Do you have clearly a lot of quirky shoes. I, this, this one's the most quirky. Speaking one. of which, do you have a passion for gardening? <laughs> is, <laughs> see, I, I. So these are the these these are the cactus plant, plant flea market, flea market. Uh, what shoes. It's called overgrown shoe. The overgrown cactus plant flea market sneakers yeah. that come like this with all of this, and it comes uh, with a tag that says, uh, "Please cut before use." A bit so you have to trim and yeah. groom them, and it I comes with a swoosh yeah. that you need to super glue on. Yeah. And this is this is the finish. So you bought two pairs. You could keep one as is yeah. and one trimmed up. So I mean, these are quirky, but then you have a bunch of shoes that are straight up ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you know like what's up with that dude like like come on i know you're not a passionate like hiking enthusiast you know like why where did you get these from it's, why it's a, i i paid resale actually for these you paid resale for these? <laughs> i had to source them man who's bought unions at like retail you sourced these have you worn them yeah 
They're actually super com- the, the probably the most comfortable pair. But you got Nike's. enough comfortable shoes, dog. How many more comfortable but shoes? Look do you? how cool. Like I think it's cool. I think it's okay, like but I think the dope. real achievement is that these are not the ugliest shoes you got. <laughs> what the hell are these? <laughs> <laughs> I can't defend these cuz you know when you wear them they just slip off everything cuz like the soles like it's ugly. So not only are they ugly, they are no. also terribly impractical. <laughs> not super comfortable. Yeah. You fall all the time. <laughs> and you have two. <laughs> Where do you think the collection is uh, going? It's only going to decrease from now cuz it's going to decrease. Yeah, cuz uh, that's a first. We don't hear that very often. <laughs> cuz honestly, uh, I had these sh- pair of shoes all over the place, some like in the storeroom, some in the house, and I made this room 2 months ago. And the day I put these up, put the cl- shoes up, the day I put them up, I realized, you know, I have too many. <laughs> cuz there's space for another rack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I want to start collecting what i really actually wear instead of just sitting like shoes just sitting at the wall and then you got the pine green fours so the pine green fours you got two of them this i totally understand my god i am going to keep it at least for magical magical yeah. shoes dude these are so gorgeous and the best part they're comfortable Jesus. unlike other like i would date <laughs> these shoes you know some good stuff man really really cool um cool i think from now i, I we want to know some specifics and with that we'll get into uh, the rapid fire segment of the video Jordan 4 SB Pine Green favorite dunk has to be the Travis SB Travis Scott SB dunk i almost waited 2 years to finally get the pair LV skate the new uh, collection that LV has the LV skate favorite collab shoe it's the cactus plant flea market overgrown nike Uh, I don't even know what the shoe. Is. It's not a dunk. It's just a shoe. I don't know. The moon boots? I think the moon boots probably. Oh, it's another. It's the black colorway of LV Skate. LV Skate. LV Skate. <laughs> okay. And, and. That's it.